I am Dr. Sharjil and today I am presenting you this 26 years old lady who came with sudden painless loss of vision in the right eye for the last four days. There was no history of trauma, fever, any previous systemic disease. You can see I am performing the relative afferent pupillary defect. The left pupil is constricting whereas the right pupil is dilating. Left is constricting and the right is dilating. So that is positive relative afferent pupillary defect. Her vision in the right eye was counting finger. I asked her whether you feel pain while moving your eyes or not and she said yes. I move my eyes on extracular movements. I feel pain otherwise there is no pain. So that is also an important clue towards the diagnosis. Fundus was normal. There was normal anterior segment. Now I am checking crudely the light brightness test. I told her that uh, assess how much light is feeling in the left eye which is normal eye 6 6 and now in the right eye and she said that uh, the light was very bright in the left eye but in the right uh, it's very dim so diminished a uh, decreased light brightness in the right eye as well and then I checked her color vision and color vision was also impaired in the right eye so the history and um, examination lead me to the diagnosis of retrobulbar optic neuritis uh, in a young female patient i advised her mr brain to look for periventricular plaques um, and esr here i am performing crudely the color vision test uh, uh, in right she was unable the vision was also decreased counting finger but she was uh, seeing a very pale color instead of bright red whereas in the red in the left eye she was <sighs> assessing the brightness of the red color so i advised her iv methyl prednisolone succinate one gram daily for three days followed by oral prednisolone one milligram per kilogram for 11 days and subsequently tapered for another three days so that's the treatment of uh, retrobulbar optic neuritis now if uh, on mr uh, you get periventricular plaques and you ask uh, other uh, signs and symptoms of uh, multiple sclerosis and she is diagnosed as a case of multiple sclerosis uh, then you can give her interferons beta or glatiramir acetate and for relapsing multiple sclerosis you have got the choice of natalizumab alimtuzumab ocrelizumab mitoxanthrone and for progressive multiple sclerosis acrylizumab so that was all about this case and you can be asked in the exams about the grades of relative afferent pupillary defect so it is divided into four grades grade one, grade one plus a weak initial constriction followed by greater redilation grade 2 plus an initial pupillary stall followed by greater redilation grade 3 plus an immediate pupillary dilatation and grade 4 plus no reaction to the light amorotic pupil you can be asked that what are the causes of relative afferent pupillary defect so it can be divided into mild and severe mild plus one and severe plus two plus three so mild can RAPD can occur in amblyopia, vitreous hemorrhage, macular degeneration, retinal detachment, branch retinal artery occlusion and branch retinal vein occlusion. Whereas severe RAPD can be experienced in ischemic optic neuropathy, optic neuritis, compressive optic neuropathy, tumor of the optic nerve and stage glaucoma, central retinal artery occlusion and central retinal vein occlusion. Thank you very much.